Hi, welcome back to GUI.ai and we've got a wonderful new collaboration for a chatbot called FarmerChat with Digital Green. Digital Green is an organization that helps uh, boost farmer product, uh, farmers' uh, agricultural productivity uh, through tech-enabled solutions. And we've built this app for them specifically for chili production and it's really easy to apply for any other kind of organizational information and educational resources that you need to provide to your user base. It's integratable with WhatsApp, with Facebook uh, and also on websites on, on their own. So here we've got the uh, app running on, on the website and also on WhatsApp and I will just show you quickly how it works so here I'll say uh, what is leaf curl in chili plant and this one is specific for chili production so it's going to give an answer based on all of the information that digital green has provided uh, through videos and PDFs uh, across uh, all of their repositories to understand this uh, right uh, it's saying that chili uh, leaf curl in chili caused by various factors including viral infections and if you want to know more specific things that uh, that you might be facing as a farmer chili you have a question that uh, is more appropriate for this you can give some feedback or ask another question so I'll quickly show it to you also how it works on uh, whatsapp so here we've got the farmer chat running on uh, whatsapp on the phone and I will ask it a specific question. Uh, my farm got flooded. Can you suggest what I should do to save my chili production? Ooh, chili. <laughs> should give us an answer so while it's answering we will go back and just get a sense of how we can get this workflow right so it's answered now that okay uh, these are the things you can do uh, if your farm has been flooded uh, you drain the water remove the debris assess the damage provide extra care uh, prevent disease and then there is also some information uh, added to this uh, through some youtube videos which are in telugu and hindi for the moment so this is how the app works both in context of it on the website or on whatsapp so now if you've got uh, something similar in terms of a use case that you'd like to try there's really a very very easy way for you to get yourself started on gui.ai through our uh, through our workflows all you need to do is uh, get back to this uh, and at the very end uh, it says build your own and you just need to hit uh, just tweak this workflow i think uh, this is really where uh, you can make a difference without without really having to know too much code you can quickly make a very nice uh, simple and informative chatbot that works for your use case so here this is uh, already done this is the workflow we've been using for farmer chat specifically for chili production so you'll see that uh, here is where you can add a question here is where you can add all your custom documentation and then eventually you can uh, do a few tweaks uh, through in chat gpt that will help you to make sure that you get the best answers so what we're going to do now is uh, we also got a set of documents for uh, for sorghum vegetable and wheat production in uh, ethiopia so i'm going to try and build a, a farmer chatbot specifically for uh, for uh, agriculture production in ethiopia for these three varieties so I will just say okay what is the land preparation for wheat that could be the question that I have and instead of uh, these documents which are about chili I will uh, copy paste the links for all of these three uh, Google Drive PDFs this could also be just uploaded as is like you can have a you can have a PDF um, uh, directly uploaded you don't need to have a Google uh, link every time but that's just uh, what we've done here 
uh, and you can now <coughs> just tweak the script a little bit to make sure that it works for you so this farmer chatbot has been made for uh, by GUI AI and Digital Green you can add your organization so I'll say Acme XYZ or Green so we know that it's for, for, uh, meant to be for your company here we'll say Pier Farmers and uh, we'll say give succinct answers uh, to make sure that uh, they sound like at the level of a sixth reader and to take note of the location they are uh, typing it in from now uh, this has been added and what we'll also do is to prompt uh, gpt chat gpt to ensure that uh, responses are accurate and it doesn't make up any uh, responses on its own so this is really important because this is an important information that you need for your user base to access and if it's going to make up some uh, some creative things on its own this can be detrimental to both you and your user base so here uh, we've specifically said make sure that uh, you use only things from uh, the search results to guide your response if the search results do not contain the answer it should just say i don't know uh, and uh, encourage the user to go to the here the digital green website but you can also say okay whatever is your company website uh, it will not give any advice uh, that will say that just go search the internet uh, respond uh, using the same language that the last question has asked this basically means it's important uh, to ensure that if the farmers ask the question in english or hindi or uh, or uh, in Ethiopian language, uh, it's able to respond back in the correct language. Uh, politely refuse any other questions on other kind of farming in India. So we can just um, uh, 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 change this to Ethiopia. Uh, and then uh, give a video response if it is available. So <clears throat> this these uh, prompts are sp basically telling uh, open AI's uh, API uh, to chat GPT or GPT-3 to ensure that we don't get any responses that we don't want. Uh, now, uh, as we always say that the AI is a collaborator, so the better you explain the task to it, the better it will respond to what you're saying. So we've got all of our details in here. Uh, and what we'll do now is, okay, oops, uh, just fix this once again. Enter and then enter here again so and then i will i've changed the question to uh, land preparation for wheat and i will say hit submit so this is going to quickly try and get an answer for us right so there you go so here you have an answer according to the information i found in the search results so it's specifically trying to uh, to maintain itself within the constraints we've given uh, that uh, these are the steps now that you need to follow that okay uh, put the uh, uh, clear the land plow it uh, and uh, make sure that there are no weeds uh, irrigate irrigate it and then deep plow the soil all of that so it's giving you all of those details so what i'll also try to say is okay i've done the land preparation for wheat what are the uh, side crops I can uh, grow with wheat, right? So it's gonna answer continuation to this question that we have got already. While it's doing that, I'll just quickly explain to you some small tips that might help you to ensure that your chat GPT prompting uh, is very specific and uh, gives you the kind of responses that you're looking for so ensure that uh, you tell it exactly what you need to do so make sure that you're setting a proper context uh, make sure you're giving it all the right details uh, don't leave it loose like don't say that this app is about agriculture make sure that you say that this app is about agriculture in ethiopia in context of sorghum vegetable production and wheat whatever those uh, topics might be. So this helps ChatGPT to ensure that it's able to, uh, to maintain context and give you the right kind of uh, responses. You can also mention things in the settings here, uh, like, okay, answer only 
in 100 words or answer only in two sentences. So this helps it to uh, summarize whatever you said properly, say answer only in bullets, things like that. So here it's given me an answer that it's not sure what can grow. However, crop rotation is common and it's trying trying its best to answer from within the uh, within the documentation that we've provided so uh, you can do quite a bit of this you can add uh, youtube videos uh, and links as well so uh, all of that has been already shared uh, on our uh, farmer chat uh, videos separately so you'll be able to see that uh, the next thing that is important of course is to integrate it now we have a very very simple way to integrate it uh, with Facebook I will share this with you in the next video but if you are looking for an integration with WhatsApp please connect with us at support at GUI.ai thank you